It's Roy Canning from Epic Gaming Night, and this is my top 100 games. Today we're going to be looking at numbers 90 to 81, and as we get higher and higher up on this list, it's going to be getting more and more exciting, at least for me, because these are my favorite games. So let's get to the list. My number 90 is Star Wars Imperial Assault. This is a one versus many game where one player is the Empire kind of running the whole mission and the campaigns, and then the other players are Jedis and smugglers and rebels trying to get in and do different objectives. It's very scenario based and you can go through a bunch of different things and it's super exciting. I feel like this game will go up even higher on my list when the app comes out and allows cooperative and solo play. I'm super excited for that, but for now, Imperial Assault is my number 90. My number 89 is Welcome to the Dungeon. This is a great filler game where players are trying to bluff and press their luck as they're going to be drawing cards and placing them in the dungeon or discarding the cards and getting rid of equipment from the hero that they'll be taking into the dungeon. And it's the first person who pass ends up having to take it through there. It feels great like playing this game trying to figure out what's too far, what's not too far. Maybe you feel like you can go through it and it's like, ah, oh, should I go? Okay, I'll go one more further in and then uh, everybody else passes and you have to just hope that you can figure out a way to make it through. Um, great filler game, welcome to the dungeon, my 89. My number 88 is a crazy dexterity game, Rampage, now known as Terror in Meeple City. It's a game where everybody has like a different like Rampage character that's gonna run through and try to eat meeples and smash down buildings. You can do all sorts of crazy actions like dropping the um, big chunky meeples of your characters onto buildings to try to make meeples go flying and be able to collect different tiles for the different buildings. There's all sorts of different ways to get points and you can get lots of different special abilities for your different characters which makes each player different. So my number 88 is Rampage. My number 87 is the Redemption Collectible Card Game. This is a biblically themed card game where you're playing as angels and demons and different biblical characters trying to rescue lost souls. You're playing against your opponents, your heroes go out and try to fight their evil characters, and the first person to rescue five lost souls is the winner. You have all the deck building with lots of different collectible card games. I have a ton of history with this game. I used to play in tournaments like crazy, got really high on like the national level, and um, won tons of different things. So I have a lot of history with this game, and that's why it is my number 87. My number 86 is Sheriff of Nottingham. It's a game with bluffing where you're trying to basically get through the customs of the sheriff saying, hey, I only have apples in this bag and you could have all sorts of different contraband in there that you can try to sneak through or you could be completely truthful. There's this whole like bluffing and double bluffing aspect in this game where you can try to like make them think you put contraband in there even though you have like tons of apples and it ends up making the sheriff pay you for wasting your time. I love playing Sheriff of Nottingham and it's always a blast. That's why my number 86 is Sheriff of Nottingham. My number 85 is Inish. This is a drafting game with lots of area control. It has amazing like Celtic looking artwork on it as you're passing it around the cards and trying to draft the correct card that allows you to move your guys on the board to set you up to win the game. You have to have majority. It also has like a checkmate sort of mechanic. So when you're about to win the game, you have to declare that you're gonna win the game and then everybody else can try to pile on and make it so you can't win the game. So you have to sneak in there and get the victory. So my number 85 is Inish. My number 84 is Dixit. This is a party game with amazing artwork where you have a storyteller who's looking at his art in his hand trying to pick a card to make a story or say a word or do a sound with and then everybody else has to pick a card in their hand that they think best represents that. You mix them all up and then the players who weren't the storyteller tries to guess which was the storyteller's card. It's a ton of fun and always like super meta because I always try to think of how I can give the player with the least amount of points to be able to guess it while keeping the other players that are in the lead out of it and I always have a blast playing Dixit with family and friends. So my number 84 is Dixit. My number 83 is a great cooperative puzzle-ish game where you're trying to save the world from disease and that's Pandemic. Players are playing different characters that are like the scientist and the medic and all sorts of different stuff that have different special abilities trying to go around and figure out how to eradicate diseases. You have different actions, you're moving around the board and diseases keep popping up and popping up and outbreaking everywhere and you have to try to figure out how to squash that, cure the disease, get in the right place at the right time, make everything happen. It's all a huge puzzle and it's a lot of fun. That's why my number 83 is Pandemic. I am a 
huge fan of Lord of the Rings, and this is a game that came out right when the movies came out. My number 82 is the Lord of the Rings trading card game from Decipher. I had a ton of fun playing this game when it came out. I played with dwarves, and you're trying to press your luck and move Frodo and the Fellowship all the way to the ninth site location to win the game, and you're kind of racing the other player to get there. Um, there's this cool mechanic called the Twilight Pool where the more good cards you played, the more bad cards your opponent could play. And I love that mechanic and I just loved a lot of things about this game. Um, so yeah, my number 82 is Lord of the Rings The Trading Card Game. My number 81 is Infiltration. This is a pressure luck game set in the Android universe from Fantasy Flight, where you're a runner trying to get into a facility and get data files. All the different players are trying to go in there and you're pressing your luck as you're getting higher and higher up into the building and trying to grab as many data files as you can, but the whole time there's this dial that's ticking up and if it gets all the way to 99, all the players left in the building lose. So you have to get in there, run out before the timer goes all the way up, but there's ways you can press your luck and get even further, maybe find an elevator to escape a different route, and it's always exciting and tense, so my number 81 is Infiltration. Well, that's another 10 games out of my top 100. If you can't tell by now, I'm definitely a thematic fanatic. I love games with tons of theme that allow you to interact with the other players and create crazy stories. So we'll see how much more thematic the games get as we get higher and higher into my top 100 list, and thanks so much for joining me along this journey to my very favorite game. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you next time on my Top 100. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.